Bro, if you read only 10 pages every single day for a year, guess how many books you're gonna have read? It's not five, it's not six. Bro, 15 books. 15 books in one year? That's more than one a month? Now, think of your Jeffrey self. If I think of my former self, bro, I didn't even know how to read. I, I grabbed the book and I was like flipping through the page, right? Because I was so distracted and I always wanted like instant gratification and I was reading, man. And I would have to go back like eight times before I actually was able to focus. Because I never meditated in my life. I was overloaded and overstimulated with all this instant gratification bullshit. I had new input every fucking second. Like bing, 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 colors, colors, sound effects, new notif notification. Oh, new video uploaded. Hey guys, it's me. Let's play Minecraft episode fucking 620,000. You know what I mean? So of course I couldn't read a book, bro. So distracted all the time. And I have ADHD and the ADHD isn't even like I diagnosed myself, but I don't even know if it's ADHD. I, I might be just in, in, influenced by my, by my surroundings. So bro, what I'm trying to say is now that I can read 12 books a year is great. One, one book a month is good for me. I'm not there yet where I can read like one book a week, bro. Like that shit, I can't do that. And I don't think that's the most efficient way to do it either. Because for example, Alex Hormozy, man, he says he doesn't read many books, but he reads a lot. He has like six books or eight books or 12. He just reads continually throughout the years. He just repeats them because reading a book once isn't enough to internalize it. Now, if you read 10 pages a day, how, much, how long is that really going to take you? If you're a Jeffrey like I used to be, then it's going to take you a lot of focus and discipline to even read 10 pages. But if you're already on your path to self-improvement, you're a little better, you've been meditating, then 10 pages a day is literally going to take you like 15 minutes. Dude, that is nothing. This once again goes to show how important consistency is and it, how much it stacks. Because the individual who reads 10 pages a day for an entire year and finishes 15 books will have an advantage over the guy who reads two hours once a week or who sits down twice a week to read but really long and takes like a fuck ton of notes bro it's not going to be the same if you always set yourself okay 30 minute timer read 10 pages and then after that you reflect on what you read you write it down holy shit your development is going to go through the roof do the same with gym if you have an individual who goes to the gym like really fucking hard twice a week he will get fucked by the guy who goes every single day and does like 30 minute workouts i noticed this more and more because i used to also be like an all or nothing kind of guy but i used to want to only do things if i could immediately be like good at them but i understand now man you're not naturally good at pretty much anything you have to stack consistency you have to stack your, your skills, right? You have to just repeat, 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 routine, 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 bro. Routine. If I, if three things, man. If you do three things for like three years, imagine reading 10 pages a day for three years. Going, working out 30 minutes a day for three years. And then the third one, meditating 10 minutes a day for three years. Bro, it's together, not even one hour. <laughs> It's not even one hour, but if you just do that seven days a week or even five days a week, you're going to demolish anyone who doesn't do that. The only people who are going to surpass you are the people who do it longer and more of it. Man, if you invest your time smart, like if you work on your business and read 10 pages, you don't need to read more. It's just about the consistency that stacks. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. That's what it's about being successful. If you can consistently put in deep work, you will get to your goal, whatever that might be. In your case, if you have like an exam to write, you don't do, don't do eight hours a day prior to the exam due date. Do 15 minutes a day starting from when you get assigned to the exam. Same if you want to get jacked. Just start going. You have to just start, man. And you learn by doing. That is the best way we learn. Mark Twain, he said this. He said, an individual who doesn't read has no advantage over an individual who can't read. Right, so if you can read and you just do 10 pages, you're gonna learn so 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 much because it's about the consistency. You don't have to read much. Same with the gym. A guy who knows about gym, knows about nutrition, knows how to lift, but doesn't actually go lift because he's always like stuck in the analysis paralysis, has no advantage over the guy who knows nothing and doesn't lift.
you're just starting and keeping the momentum, keeping the consistency, that is one of the pillars to becoming a top 1% man, bro. I have like my perfect week planned out because before Christmas holidays, I want to like really get a good weekend so that I build momentum for the New Year's. I want to start New Year's, right? And you know, if I mess up like the, the week in between Christmas or before Christmas, I know that I'm going to be a little less productive with the Christmas holidays, like because of my family and I'm going to be with my girlfriend a lot. But this is my perfect week, right? I want to do boxing three times, train three times, eat clean times five, get up at six to seven a.m. five times, all the habits times seven, some business shit, sales shit, right? Bro, I calculated this. If I were to do this week, bro, that's all it takes. It's just the consistency. That would be all it would take for me to literally smash every goal that I have. And this could be anything you want. For me, I know if I do this, will be the best at all of these things by far, man. I will not, if I do this for two years, two or three years, I will not see anyone who will beat me at that. And that's the whole point of becoming like your high value, hyper masculine Superman, because that's the privilege you have as a man. You can build yourself from the ground up. It's the disadvantage you have, but it's also the privilege because you're not born with inherent value. You're useless. You are expected to provide something all the time for you to be seen as useful and be valued. So you have to build yourself. And that's why hard times create strong men. Hard times build character and discipline and all that stuff. All those good character traits come through hard times. No, no sitting around jacking off, bro. No sitting around playing Minecraft. Comes through discipline, putting yourself in your out of your comfort zone, bro. I used to be so afraid to talk on the phone, but I was consistent with with learning sales and doing role plays. And now I have a sales job, and I I don't get anxiety anymore before calling people on the phone. Like it's my job, just because I was consistently putting in the hours. You can get rid of you can overcome anything if you're consistent. All right, so really implant that into your mind. If you need help with that, I also offer coaching. It's in the description. Subscribe to my channel if you if you like these kind of videos, man. I, I try to help you, specifically you, because I know you're a you're probably a young guy watching this, and you're trying to be more masculine, more disciplined, more goal oriented, have a better mindset. I can help you with that, bro. Come on, other videos. Yeah, man. Alright, fist bump.